Hey hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sakal Prachapati and this video will be talking about how we should join two data frame in PySpark using Databricks okay so suppose you are you have two data frame let's say df1 df2 and you want to join it then how you can join it using uh, PySpark right so for that what I can do first I I should create one small data frame just for the you know demo purpose so what I'll do I'll just write here one saga one is the ID and let's say second uh, is the my name likewise I'll just add a second record that is uh, to John right and here what I'll do I'll just write df1 is equal to spark dot create data frame cool and here I'll just pass data what I have given and here I'll just pass the schema so schema like I am giving a id int and uh, name a string cool and what I'll do just write df1 dot show cool so here if you can see we have this id and name uh, and one to saga john right likewise what I'll do I'll create another data frame and here I will add one more column let's say uh, age right like this and here I will add one more column sorry comma age int this is also correct now what I want to do my task is to join these two data frames like this and this how I can do that first method is very simple uh, you you might have done using SQL also uh, so what I can do df1 dot union right union and then df2 cool and here I will assign this value to df1 and then I can write df1 dot show if I run this then you can see it will give me an error saying that the union should perform with same number of columns right so df1 having two columns and df2 having three columns that's why it is getting failed right you can you can understand that here we have three columns here we have two columns but union can be performed only only with the same number of matching columns so in order to do in in order to achieve the same result what I can do uh, one way is to that I'll just write here import spark from spark pi spark dot uh, sql dot functions I will import lit function which will uh, use to add a constant value <coughs> or what I'll do here I'll write here df1 dot with column I'll add one more column which is missing that is age right and here I'll pass none so if I do now this then you can see we have uh, we have age column and the value is null null cool now I can quickly do this then you can see we have the correct value or maybe I can you know just change it like this now you can see we have correct value but uh, oops sorry my bad I have to run this again huh. so if I do now then you will see four columns four rows cool now the thing is the issue is we can do this but the uh, in spark to after 2.3 I believe after 2.3 or 3.2 spark has given one more function called df uh, called union by name okay so what's happening right now this union is getting performed by by the uh, by the sequential way like you know by the uh, by these columns like if it is id present then we can we can have okay so one minute what I can what I can uh, tell you what I can do <coughs> I can uh, I can pass this 23 and 24 I can pass here like this and instead of here writing here I, I, I add at the beginning and remove age from here so if you see here now we have age id name right and we have like this id name age and if I want to do this then you will see 
it edits what it added id with age column right everything is now messed up everything is now messed up right because union how union perform in the order of the columns right so we have to first define the num uh, define the correct correct order of the column to apply the union so this is kind of sometimes it is kind of difficult you know when you have a big data frame and the column names are shuffled then you have to first align the column name and then you have to put it so sometimes it is very difficult to do so the alternative is so the alternative is union by name so let me just undo it cool okay now what i'll do i'll just write here union by name even though i do not need this line i can skip this adding a new column age and here i am having two columns and here here i am having three columns right so if i run this then you will see that we will we may face issue right so here union by name having one more one more parameter called allow missing columns and if i make it two then what it will do it will assign null value in the missing columns so if i just run this now then you can see we have the same output what we have it over here one two sagar john and since uh, df1 doesn't having does not have age column that's why it put null over here and then it, uh, the second column already have the i mean the the, the, the second data frame uh, age column have all the you know positive values then it you know it present over here so what what if if i change the order of this order of this uh, you know data frame then let's see what will happen you know we can try it out that's not a very uh, you know big deal so i'll just write here id in this remove age from here cool and right here 23 comma remove age from the last and right 34 comma we have like this now what if if i just run this we'll see now see as the name suggests union by name right so what it is doing it is you it is uh, merging we can say merging or appending the data frame by the name of the columns okay i hope that you have understood but make sure that the column names are matching then only it will you know append the data frame append append to data frame otherwise otherwise it will treat it it, it will treat a, a column as a new okay so yeah and that's it i hope that you have understood this concept union by name and union when to use union by name and when to use union okay apart from this i have created a playlist called database and pyspark here i have you know uh, i have uploaded 69 videos till now and uh, i have explained you from the basic baby steps like you know how to what is the what is database and how to read csv files then how to rename columns add a new column filter the data frame and so on so on so on okay some uh, in the starting videos are very basic and these videos are in hindi but after 50th or 15th or 20th video it is in hindi it is in english language so that everyone can understand very easily and uh, uh, the starting these are the very basic stuff and then at the end if you go down then you can see they are com kind of very um, very advanced videos also present okay like you know uh, uh, we can say what we can say how to get the list of udf function that is the what is accumulator right what is broadcast variable and so on so on so if you are liking my videos please go and check out my course which i have you know recently launched on my website www.geekcoders.co.in i will give you the link in the description box and apart from this if you are liking my videos please like this video and share with your friends till then bye bye thank you